Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit these two persons who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another in all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Derek, our day is finally here. It feels as though we've been waiting for a lifetime for this special day. <laughs> I'm already crying. It's truly hard to believe how far we've come and all that has changed over the past nine years. Queen, my love. It feels like yesterday I was a 17-year-old looking for a girlfriend who would have imagined that almost 10 years later we would have become husband and wife. We've been through so much together. <laughs> Happiness, sadness, good times and bad. Yet no matter the circumstance, we have always stood by each other's sides. The day that seemed like a fantasy has finally arrived. I have been taking deep breaths all morning, trying to get everything to slow down. We have started the beginning of an amazing life together, and I would not change anything for the world. As 4 p.m. inches closer, I can feel the excitement in my stomach. I vow to give you the best life I am able to provide and love you unconditionally for the rest of time. We have proved that High school sweethearts actually make it last forever. Sadie and I love you more than you could ever imagine. Love always, Derek. <laughs> this year has tested us both emotionally in many different ways, but it has shown how strong our love and faith truly is with one another and God. I promise to always be your biggest supporter even if I am terrified of what the future days may hold, as you continue to be my hero. I know our story has not always been perfect, at times complicated and messy, but I love it so much because it has gotten us here today and has made us who we are. Through all the craziness life has thrown our way, I have never once questioned that you were who God intended me to be with. Today and every day forward, I promise that you will be as important to me as coffee, <laughs> chocolate, and all my episodes of Grey's Anatomy put together. Importantly, I vow to always strive to be the very best wife to you that I can be. I vow to show our children what a good marriage looks like. I vow to be patient, 
and to remember all the things between us are rooted in love. I vow to nurture your dreams and to help each of them. <clears throat> now to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may come our way. I vow to love you loyally and fiercely as long as I shall live. I choose you now. I'll choose you over and over without a pause, without a doubt, in a heartbeat. <laughs> I love you, the soon-to-be Mrs. Southern. The covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced the wedding in Canaan and Galilee, and in his sacrificial love, gave us the example of love of husband and wife. Colleen and Derek come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Love, the word that we use in a wedding, it's all about a feeling that's down deep in our hearts. Ask any songwriter, novel writer, movie producer, and all of us who listen to the love songs, read the romance novels, watch those love stories on TV and on the big screen. And it takes hard work to keep that love going. Sometimes the feelings get hurt. We become weaker and we get worried. That is why I'm here to tell you that love is not a feeling. Please don't get me wrong. Love can and often feels wonderful. If it didn't, we wouldn't be here today. But I want you to remember that love is less of a feeling, more about the actions. God of all people, you are the true light illuminating everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. You love us even when we're disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in your life and in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us, and especially in this solemn act and covenant. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Derek Southern. I've had the honor, or maybe the curse, of calling Derek my brother, and more so my best friend for the last 20 years. The majority of my life has been spent with him, and Derek has always included me in the things he was doing. Derek will always have my back. but a kind, loving, and considerate partner. brother-in-law 
who serves and protects our country. I know it isn't an easy job, but I want you to know we appreciate you and our family will always back the blue. I would go anywhere you want to go, but there ain't a 